Hello, fellow quirky people. I am your host, Anna, and today I'm going to answer a question that some ardent House of the Dragon fans might have had after episode 7. Spoiler warning if you haven't caught up to this point. Go watch it and come back. Although, I guess the title of the video may have spoiled it for you already. So, um, I'm sorry. Anyway, without any further ado, let's try and answer why someone like Egan Targaryen, the first of his name, could stay married to two women. But Rhaenyra could not be married to two men at the same time. Because of patriarchy, duh. That's easy. As you may have read about Egan Targaryen's history, he first married his older sister Visenya out of duty. And then, he also took his younger sister Rhaenys as his second wife out of love. Upon his conquest of Westeros, he came with his two sisters and united six of the Seven Kingdom as one under his rulership. But as the Targaryens stayed in Westeros to establish a dynasty, the rules and regulations, even in their own culture, changed slowly and gradually with time. Rhaenyra married Sir Leonard Valarian for political purposes, even though she had feelings for other men. But she and Daemon knew that they couldn't be married unless Leonard was dead. So, they orchestrated Leonard's death. Or rather, faked his death so they could get married to each other. But why couldn't she have married both of them? Why couldn't she have married Sir Harwin Strong when she fancied his company more than Leonard? Her ancestors had multiple wives. So, why couldn't she have multiple husbands? Well, there are two particular reasons for this. The first and the most important reason is that Egan wasn't originally from Westeros. He came from the east and conquered almost the entire land of Westeros. And he had two wives before he stepped on these golden fertile lands. So the rules of Westeros didn't really apply to him. If he would have done it a few years down the line after conquering Westeros, then maybe the High Septon could have disallowed it. But even then, it wouldn't have mattered to Egan and co, as his son Maegor the Cruel went on to have six wives. He married those many women to basically piss off the Faith Militant who tried to oppose him. So, the power and might of the Targaryens were at an all-time high in the first few decades. Then as the peaceful years of the Targaryen dynasty approached with King Jaehaerys the Wise, the Targaryens began to take up Westerosi practices to maintain peace. So for that reason, multiple marriages at the same time weren't allowed anymore. Rhaenyra being married to both Daemon and Leonard would have been disallowed if she did it in the public eye. Daemon and Rhaenyra's wedding still won't count as legitimate if Sir Leonard Valerian were to return in the near future. The second reason for this is that during those years, the rules that were bound to women weren't the same as men. That's why Princess Rhaenys wasn't chosen as the heir to the Iron Throne, even though she had a bigger claim than Viserys. That's also why people began to question Rhaenyra's claim as soon as Egan II was born. So, male figures held a high power and could get away with certain things that women couldn't. But there's actual evidence suggesting that multiple weddings weren't allowed even for males as well. Daemon only got married to Lena Valarion after Rhea Royce died. And he was only able to marry Rhaenyra after both Lena and Leonard died. Something like this was also brought into question in later events involving King Egan IV and his bastard son, Daemon Blackfyre. Damon Blackfire was promised that he could have two wives, but ultimately the second wedding was not allowed. So clearly, multiple weddings weren't common practice in Westeros, even though it had been done before. And besides, having multiple spouses could seem a bit unjust and unfaithful to many. Okay, that's all we know about this matter. Hit the like and the subscribe buttons if you enjoy the video. And don't forget to check out some more House of the Dragon and Game of Thrones content on our channel. Goodbye, and I'll see you in the next one.